Okay, let's look at an example question calculating the number of turns on a transformer. So, let's analyse this question below. Bear in mind, number of turns we mean on the primary and secondary side of the transformer, how many times we've wound round each side of that transformer on the primary and on the secondary. So let's look at this now. A single phase transformer has been used to supply heating system. The transformer is fed from 230 volts, 50 hertz AC supply and needs to provide an output voltage of 25 volts. So straight away we've got two values there, haven't we? We've got these two values, voltage primary and voltage secondary. Right. So if the secondary current is 150 amps and the secondary winding has 50 turns, find the number of turns on the primary winding. Right, okay, well the way I do this is I would start by drawing this out and seeing what values I've actually got. So let's draw our parts of our, our formula here like this. Let's fill them out. So voltage primary, got that, 230 volts. 230 volts there and 25 volts on the voltage secondary. Right, okay. So we've got those two values. Now, second section, number of turns primary. We're being asked for that, so we don't know this section, do we? We don't know this one. Okay, um, secondary current, 150 amps. We've got that, that goes here, 150 amps there. We don't know the primary current, so we're just gonna put a question mark on that. And then we know that the secondary winding has 50 turns, like it says there. So if we put 50 down here, like this, Okay, so that's what we're working with now. So let's go with what we know and use our technique we've learned in the previous video of learning how to transpose this formula. So we know in order to use this, we need to know one full section like this. Like in our case, we know the voltage primary and voltage secondary, don't we? We know those two. This bit here, this 150 amps, they just give us this in the question just to, to throw us off a little bit. Uh, extra information, now we don't need that. We're asking to figure out this question mark here, so we need to know the number of turns primary. So let's transpose our formula down here to make number of turns primary the subject of the formula using what we already know, which is the voltage primary and voltage secondary. So let's do that before we punch some numbers into that. Okay, so we want number of turns primary to be our subject of our formula. So NP, remember we take what's below, so we take the number of turns secondary, and we're gonna multiply that by what we know, which is voltage primary over voltage secondary. So voltage primary divided by our voltage on the secondary. Okay, put some brackets around that so our calculator knows what we want it to do. And anyway, right, so we've got this now. So let's punch some numbers in here and see what we get. So if we're gonna say that the number of turns primary is equal to um, 50, which is our number of turns secondary, multiplied by our voltage primary over voltage secondary. So that's gonna be 230 divided by 25. Okay, so when we punch that into our calculator, we're gonna come out with an answer of 460 turns. So, so it works perfectly. Our transposing our formula, that simple way where we take what we want, which is the number of turns primary, we got that, we took what's below it, number of turns secondary, and multiplied it by what we already know. This technique over here of writing out the formula and filling out the values that you know throughout the question is a good way of you analyzing, as you're going through the question, input the values on here that we know, and then it's very obvious at the end that we're gonna be working with what we know here in order to calculate this one.